Hey, what's going on guys, it's Caleb, and today I have a quick After Effects tutorial for you guys about rising slash falling bouncy text. I can't figure out a legitimate name for this, so that's what I'm gonna call it. If you have a better name, then maybe I'll change the title of this, but for now it's going to be rising slash falling bouncy text After Effects tutorial. Uh, so here's what it looks like. If it will play. Come on, there you go. There you go. Alright, so. The, uh, the top line comes from the bottom of a mask and bounces character by character into place. Look at that there. Looks pretty snazzy. So I, the A, the I, the N, the T, the rest of the sentence bounces up character by character into place and just takes a second for it to rest. Looks pretty cool. And then also on the bottom line, as far as this line down, it comes from the top of the screen and then bounces into fit. Uh, see, see, that's the rising text and that's the falling text, basically. That's what you got going on there. Looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you to get this look. The cool thing about this tutorial is that I'm just gonna say you can do this however you want to. I'm gonna show you what I think looks good, but the cool thing about this is it's very editable, so you can just do whatever you want to it. You can make it bounce from the left side of the screen. You can make it bounce, a you can do a 360 degree turn. You can, you can do whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. You can just do whatever you want to. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it, but um, I'll give you the basic idea. You can edit it however you want to. Cool. All right. We're going to do a new project because this is a lyric video I'm working on right now and I don't want to mess anything up because that would suck. Control N on the keyboard to open up a new composition, 1920 by 1080, aspect ratio locked to 69, frame rate 30, 8 seconds, uh, dark purple background. Red. Um, now for text. I'm going to do rising slash falling bouncy text thing. Cool. Now in the center of the screen, I'm going to use my align tool to go to the horizontal center and the vertical center. And if you don't have your align tool, you can go to window and align and that will bring that up. So you can just use that. It's a very nifty way to just, if you have your text here and you're like, oh, I don't like it there. It looks stupid. You can move it there. And it's very easy to do. And I'm going to stretch this text out a little bit because this text looks ridiculous when it's not stretched. It gives it more of a bold look. Uh, so there, we got our text in the center of our screen, not doing anything, just hanging around, being stupid. So uh, let's get into some animating. Now we're gonna animate our scale, but we're gonna do it in a different way than you would normally do, because you can just take your scale here and go from zero and bring it into place, but we need to do something a little bit different. So make sure you're not messing with your actual scale, but you go from your text like this, you get that little arrow right there. And we're gonna press animate and do scale. And now this is going to animate our characters of our text. If you see the little X's next to the characters, that is uh, when you do animation like this with text, it lets you animate the characters instead of the actual layer. So um, I find that helpful. And we need it specifically for this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna move from the scale on our animator uh, right here. I'm gonna press a keyframe and I'm gonna move that about a second in. And then I'm going to go zero. And that's just going to make each of the characters of the text rise up like that. That looks cool. And using uh, Motion 2 from Mount MoGraph, I highly suggest that if you are a motion designer or any sort of designer that you buy this. It's very helpful. Um, it just eases my keyframes for me and there's lots of other uses, but I'm going to use it for easing. And you can also just do the same. You get the same look if you highlight your keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. So that gives you an easy ease. This is the same thing. Um, cool. Now, uh, what are we going to do next? We're going to do our rotation. Again, pressing animate, going to rotation. I'm going to set our text to 90 degrees. So now our characters are just flat like that on the ground. Um, it will come to place eventually. Uh, but for now, our text is going to be laying like that. And next, I'm going to go to position. And I don't really know how to explain this properly, but um, check it out. So this is going to wherever you put this is where it's going to bounce from. So if you want your text to end up in the center of the screen, where it is right now, you're going to move your position down. And then when we add an expression a little bit later on, it's going to bounce up from this position. So uh, here, I'm going to move my text down here. That's where I want it to start bouncing from. Um, so there we are. Text is there now. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And in our range selector for our animator two, I'm going to add in a, a selector and press expression. And now our text is at a really weird angle, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna open up our expression selector one and I have a little expression for you guys right here. 
That's pretty special to me. I'm gonna put it in the description and just make sure you copy all of this and copy it like that, control C. Um, and on our amount, we're going to press Alt and click and then do it again and then paste the expression into our expression thing. So now our text is like that, doing a little bounce thing. And there's one thing I do need to change real quick. On our range selector for our scale, I'm gonna go into advanced and I'm gonna to wanna to change the shape from square to ramp up. And I'm going to set the ease high and ease low to 50. Uh, there we go. This makes it look a little bit nicer. So it starts up there and yeah, so. For the look I like specifically, I change it to ramp up. But like I said, this this whole thing is very editable, so you can change it to whatever you want it to. Uh, so if I want it, let's just see. So smooth doesn't change it much. Square, um, square, yeah. You see, it, it, it does it a little bit differently. Ramp up. Yeah, I, I personally like ramp up because it starts. It actually starts from the bottom and then rises up like that. So. For this one, I'm using ramp up, but like I said, you can just mess around with this as much as you like and change it. Um, so there, the animation is basically done at this point. Uh, I'm gonna show you what you can do with this expression. So if you want your text to come in um, faster or slower, or you want it to bounce more, you're gonna wanna mess with the expression control right here. So our delay, that is basically saying, how long do you want it to be delayed before it comes onto the screen? So if I want it to come on faster, Obviously, I'm going to decrease the delay. So I'm going to go from 0.5 to 0.3. So now our text is going to rise up a lot faster. So let's focus on the this thing right here, the thing. Um, so if it's at 0.3, thing is right here. But if I change it to 0.5, it's not going to be there yet because it's being delayed longer. You get what I'm saying? You understand? You understand, kids? That's what's happening right there. All right. And now if you want to bounce more, you're gonna do, uh, well, technically bouncing more would be frequency, but if you want to bounce harder, you're gonna change your amplitude. So I'm gonna change my amplitude to 100, uh, and now it's gonna bounce, it's gonna do a little bit more bounce. And if I want to bounce longer, I'm going to do frequency. So it's gonna go from two to four, and now it's gonna bounce longer into place. I think that looks really weird, so I'm gonna go back down. Um, but yeah, very subtle, I like it. And one more thing that I'm gonna add. For a, in my opinion, cleaner look, so you're not seeing this garbage on the bottom right here, so you don't see your text starting, the starting point of the text, uh, just go ahead and make a mask on your uh, on your text. So I'm gonna right click on the text layer and do mask, new mask. And since this does bounce, you're gonna to want to uh, increase how big your mask is from the top, from the bottom to the top to the left and right, just to make sure it has enough uh, space to bounce into place without getting cut off and looking weird. Um, but make sure when you're adjusting the bottom that you are not making it long enough to where you can actually see the text starting point. So um, I'm gonna make it go like right there. And so now our text looks like it's coming up just out of nowhere and going to the center of our screen. It's a very clean look. Uh, I'm going to be using this a lot in kinetic typography um, projects and whatever else this might be used for. So whatever project you're working on, if you think this will help you out, then uh, good for you. Good job to you. It's a good day. So there you go. That's, the, that's basically it. All you're doing is animating the scale, position, and rotation, and adding a keyframe or adding an expression to it. That's basically it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, first little After Effects tutorial, I plan on doing more, whatever comes into mind. If you guys have any like uh, tutorials you want me to do, then just let me know and I'll try my best to get to, get to do them. But yeah, that's the rising, falling, bouncy text. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next tutorial whenever that is. I don't really have an upload schedule, but yeah. Um, there it is. Cool. Bye.